Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sylvia De Silva. I know I haven't done a FaceTime in a very long time. So today I'm here especially to answer one of your questions. So I've got this question from lots of people in the last year. So before I start, let me mention, I mean no offense to anybody who has asked me these questions because I had the same opinions before. Okay, so let's get started. So most people think acrylic paints are expensive. I get so many questions asking me how to reduce the costs. Can we, can we make any sort of economical choice? Can we use uh, gel medium or gloss medium to extend the acrylic paints? So let me tell you, you cannot skimp on acrylic paints. Let me show you the first painting I made with acrylics and you'll see why it is not that great so this is the painting I made uh, the very first painting I made with acrylics and you can see why it's not that great because I was used to oil paints and I saw that you know the canvas is taking up so much paint and my entire set would get over with just one painting and I tried to add more water I tried to add more medium and you know I tried to extend the paint but it just wouldn't work let me show you one more painting I made with gloss medium so this painting turned out to be really great but only because I eventually ended up using too much acrylic paints with the gloss medium because the gloss medium wouldn't really you know move so well onto the canvas you just cannot skimp on acrylic paint believe me when i say this when you're a beginner when you're a learner you have to make sacrifices you have to choose things over something else like you know for almost two years when i was experimenting with different mediums i didn't buy clothes for myself you know i was wearing the same old tops i was wearing the same old clothes and i really didn't care because i got to spend on art supplies and that brought me more joy and it helped me learn i learned so much in those two years where i made the simple choice not to buy something that i wanted and instead buying art supplies make an effort so spend on a medium that you want to learn so when it comes to acrylic paint and these mind you are mostly people who have been using oil paints and then have moved to acrylic paints and they feel like okay oil paint extends so much but acrylic doesn't one canvas takes up so much paint trust me once you get used to it when you, once you start learning how to use acrylic paints you will enjoy it there is no shortcut method for this you have to spend for acrylic paints when you are learning so i would suggest buying not a 20 maybe buy a 40 ml tube in the colors that you want maybe choose one color uh, say you could do a monochromatic painting and or choose two or three colors painting behind i have just used burnt sienna portrait pink and crimson lake so these are the only three colors i have used to make that painting and it is great so if you want to try acrylic paints and see how they really work if you want to learn buy the 40 ml tubes you can try the same painting you will never be able to make exactly the same because abstracts never turn out to be the same trust me you will be thankful <laughs> I, there is no other way for me to tell you this do not skimp on acrylic paints you cannot extend it with gel mediums of course you can extend it a little bit but you can't use the entire gel medium with one gram of paint and say okay I'm gonna make a painting with this it will not turn out the way you want it and gel mediums are also not that cheap you know they are also expensive so next video I'm gonna show you the difference between oil and acrylics and not the technical stuff I'm just gonna show you how these things are different and why you might feel that acrylic is expensive you know people who move from acrylic to oil say the other way around they say oil is expensive because you know the oil paints are expensive and well that's for another video <laughs> 
so do not think too much just enjoy your process of painting do not buy hobby colors and say you know my acrylic paintings are not turning out right buy the actual artist's acrylics or you could buy students acrylics but there is not much of a price difference so go for the artist's acrylics buy three or four colors and try out a painting so let me give you an example i wanted to try out color pencils and not just any color pencils i wanted to try out the actual effects that come out with color pencils the ones that i see in color pencil magazine and you know just google color pencil uh, portraits or color pencil whatever paintings that you want to see and you will see great paintings made with just color pencil and i found out most people use either uh, prismacolor or polychromos now prismacolor was cheaper than polychromos but i had a reason to buy polychromos because everyone claimed that those are the best i mean the best artists use polychromos so i really wanted to buy that but if i had said maybe let me try out some color pencil portraits or some color pencil sketches with maybe you know these student color pencils that we used when we were in primary school i wouldn't have gotten those results so i saved up some money and then i went ahead and bought a set of 24 polychromos color pencils and those were not cheap you know 4000 i guess so i bought those and i tried out two sketches and they turned out so great so then i went ahead and saved up some more money and bought a whole set of 120 polychromos color pencils and those were priced at 13,000 rupees so yeah it is that expensive but the results that i got was so great i will never regret buying those sets so but it does take effort it almost took me a year to save up for you know to buy that set i didn't want to just go and ask my husband okay since he's the only source of income and i can't take up a job so i had to go and ask him you know for 13000 rupees and i just didn't want to so i saved up some money and i was almost close to that goal and then he added up some and got it to me as a gift so you know you have to make certain sacrifices and you have to try out some of the best stuff some of the various mediums that are available to you there's so much there's so much in art but if you are insisting on learning one particular medium say you want to learn acrylics you have to buy the good acrylic paints and you have to buy the canvas and you have to try it out you just cannot you know if you want to create fine art that is what you have to spend on you cannot just say okay let me try making an acrylic painting on a ply board that is you know lying around in my house okay you will get a good result but you won't get exactly what you are looking for so good luck to you and if this video doesn't answer any questions mention them in the comments below and i will get back to you as soon as possible thank you so much for watching